What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a new series of forward gameplays. So this season I have been playing forward quite a lot and he is my new main right now as a survivor and I just thought to myself why not play forward like he is the hardest survivor right and considering how strong he is in tournaments and rank if he is at the right time at the right place and how much pressure it would bring to the hunters Oop, a little bit of a lag here from recording so I just thought I'd pick up forward and bring something new to the channel you know so as you can see violinist did find me first and me decoding in the middle of the map rotating straight towards the factory and this is the best kiting area for any survivor in Leo's memory so as a hunter you really want to be able to down this person as quickly as possible in this um, area so that you do not get kited and a violinist bringing excitement isn't really that much of a use because if you're gonna commit to a forward it's best if you bring blink or at least a peeper but to the point where you bring blink it is best that you either switch targets as soon as forward uses his football or you should just switch after you have your quenching effect in use but I'm not sure if the hunter did bring quenching effect so over here I did use half of my football already to transition from one area to another so now I threw this pallet down, dodged this line and I'm buying a, a lot of time for my teammates to decode as you can see two ciphers have already been popped and also the hunter did not bring confined space so oh beautiful line by the hunter over here so I am able to use the windows as much as possible and as much as I want and as you can see he did not break this pallet but he went around the pallet and so Seer gave the owl over here and uh, he did bring a sari but it's okay these things happen especially when you are in uh, in solo rank and when you are predicting and so over here nice line by the violinist and I did get downed the only thing about this team composition is that it is very hard to rescue because uh, Seer already used up his owl Enchantress uh, I don't know where she is and as you can see the violinist did switch to peepers and in my opinion this is not too great of a strategy and so Seer took the hit really nice cooperation over here and this Seer did bring tight turner very hardcore and this prisoner trying to dodge the string and Chandra's in the area and there is one cypher remaining cypher rush is real because he did commit to a forward leaving all three fast decoders outside and this is the last cypher which is in the middle so as you can see a really nice prediction by the um, violinist and I am still in the area with a quarter of a football left and so he is going to try to come after me so uh, what I think his strategy is to make sure that no one can rescue and as you can see I do still have a quarter of a football which means I could still buy time so what I think he should have done was to switch targets away from the forward and maybe pick up the prisoner when he was able to because prisoner is able to decode and bring up connections and over here I'm dodging the lines dodging this max presence skill and I use the last of my football to come to this little area 
And now I'm just playing around with the hitbox, as you can see, dodging all the hits and this line as well. And so now he, I'm, I forced him to use his max presence skill, and then the cipher popped, and boom, I am out of here. So I immediately rotate away into the hospital, not hospital, <laughs> factory with the speed boost and now since the hunter did switch to peepers he isn't really uh, oh, he, he, he still got me down so never mind but the thing is the exit gate is already opened and it is a guaranteed three person elimin it, three person escape and then the violinist did carry me, put me down and surrendered. I don't know why, but well, we did win in the end. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.